Answer that question for us. What do these pigeon droppings do to our lung? Pigeon droppings, which we innocuously think that you know they can be harmless, actually can be very, very harmful and can even be life-threatening if they continue to lead into a progressive kind of a disease. So as soon as the pigeon droppings dry up, they start to you know disseminate into the air, and when you inhale those particles, they actually go deep inside the lungs, and then can start off with just an allergic reaction like precipitating an asthma. Kind of an attack, they could lead to a disseminated kind of an infection with two kinds of fungi, which is again very uh, complex and difficult to manage. One is cryptococcosis, and the other is histoplasmosis. And third, and the most common reaction is an a hyper allergic response. It's also called an extrinsic allergic alveolitis, or a hypersensitivity pneumonitis, or a bird fanciers disease, or a pigeon fanciers disease. And this is not only restricted to the pigeon droppings but also to parrot droppings and other bird droppings they basically result in a very hyper allergic response inside the body which again could start with just a mild cough breathlessness and progress to what is called a fibrotic kind of a state in the lungs which could actually be irreversible and life threatening mm. i'm sure even during covid most of us would have heard of the fibrosis happening in the lungs yeah. so this is also one of those diseases which can end up into fibrosis by fibrosis we actually mean that the normal lung tissue is being replaced by a scar tissue so the lungs are becoming non functional mm -hmm. portion of the lungs are becoming non functional over a period of time and as this area of non functionality goes on increasing inside the lungs mm -hmm. obviously it results in respiratory failure mm -hmm. and finally requiring oxygen ventilatory support and death